Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express. I'm right here on SABC3. I'm still reeling from my Zumba workout. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to wake up. Thank you so much for joining us. Right now, though, let's quickly get into some sporting action. What took place over the weekend, my brother? Yeah, man. And surely the Stormers continue to find vein of form uh, against the Bulls at home as they produce yet another victory in front of the Newlands faithful. While in soccer, of course, all eyes were on the camp. No, with Real Madrid in Barcelona's El Clasico clash ended all square. But in case you missed it, we've got a bit of a wrap up for you. So it was the 238 eighth competitive El Clasico. 192 countries of fans around the world watched it uh, as Barca opened the scoring through Luis Suarez's 10th minute goal, but then Ronaldo had to bring him back. Of course, he's been the man of the season That's for uh, Real Madrid, as he's always been. Uh, he did so in the 14th. Lionel Messi then made it 2-1 in the 52nd, and Gareth Bale brought the score back to level once again at 72 uh, on the 72nd minute. And Gareth Bale, who hasn't seen much uh, time on the field during the season, once again, I think, creeping back into the hearts of the uh, Los Galacticos. Right, there yeah. you can see uh, a bundled in goal, but we'll take it nonetheless. I'm, I'm sure Cristiano really does appreciate that. But what is significant yeah. about this two all draw is that um, after claiming the La Liga title, uh, Barcelona still remain unbeaten yeah. this season. So that's, that's an, an incredible run. And uh, I guess all the uh, Catalan fans are super, super happy yeah. about that. Uh, let's go over to some rugby news. Of course, it was the big battle of the North versus the South, the Stormers versus the Bulls That's at it. home. Packed out crowd at Newlands uh, in uh, Sia Colise's 100th game wow. uh, for the Stormers. A very special one, so you can imagine that there must have been some extra motivation. But the Stormers did continue their fine record at home. They ended up uh, beating the Bulls in the, I mean, the final score. Halftime, when it came around, was 12-10. Um, the score, but then um, the, mm. res the, the, the Stormers' defense yeah, this, was resolute. Yeah, That's what they were talking about. There was no ways that, that the could Bulls could break mm. through that. And of course, at some point, the Lions looked like they might do the job over the Canes, but then it was just too much for them and the Sharks doing the job there over the Highlanders. So mm. a big congratulations to them. And if we flash back quickly to the English Premier League over the past weekend, Manchester City drawing against Huddersfield 0-0. Uh, a game that you might have seen them winning 5-0 at some yeah, exactly. point uh, with Huddersfield having had the season. But, I mean, of course, they've already got the cup. They've raised it. What, what else do they need to concentrate on? Give the, the, the young runners a chance there in the team. Chelsea uh, pulling off a 1-0 victory uh, against Liverpool. Eden Hazard pro proving to be quite a phenomenal force uh, in that game. And in uh, the season finale for Arsene Wenger, who waved goodbye That's to it. the Gunners uh, with his last game against Burnley, 5-0 yeah. at the Emirates Stadium. What a send-off for a man that has served the club for some 22 years and created such memories. I don't think mm. we'll ever, in our lifetime at least, see, another, see a yeah. club called the Invincibles yeah. again. What a title to have, man. What a merci title to have. Merci, Arsene Wenger. Merci beaucoup. Absolutely. Thank you, Kat. Thank you very much, man. That's a roundup of your sport on your Fugger Breakfast Show for your Monday morning.